of Oklahoma. Again, they do everything they have to do. They fight, they claw, they 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 scratch, but still cannot get out of Austin alive. They lose in a buzzer beater. 84 to 83 on Big Monday, and then last week they lost their their uh, opening week game, their weekend game against Iowa State in double overtime. Iowa State escapes 82 or 92 to 87. Review of the two games coming up next, only right here, Boomer Sooner 1982. Don't go away. everybody, my name is Terry James, and I would like to welcome you back to the Women's Review Special for Women's Basketball. For, for the Women's Version of Rivalry Week here on Boomer Center 1982. Rivalry Week started for our beloved Oklahoma women on the road in hostile territories in the drum in Austin. As the centers loops 86-68 in the rivalry, uh, stats that you got to look at for this game. Oklahoma shot 35.5% from inside the arc in the first half and 45.5% from outside the arc in the first half. Texas, how, uh, in the first half, though, shot 45.9% from inside the arc and right at 50% from outside the arc for the first half. We'll go to the second half now where Oklahoma again, shot 35.7% from inside the arc, but 25% from outside the arc. While Texas shot 53.1% from inside the arc and straight threes, 33.3% from outside the arc. For the game statistically, Oklahoma shot 35% from inside the arc and 34.8% from outside the arc, while the Horns shot 49.3%. 3% from inside the arc, and 41.7% from outside the arc. Even though the Sooners lost, of course, you still have to have players out there to do what they got to do, right? They did. Uh, leading them in points tonight, that night, uh, number zero, V's Pierre Luis. She had 16 points on the night for the Sooners in Austin, while number 21, Gabby, or Gabby Ortiz, had four dimes on the night. And the rebounding uh, numbers went to V's Pierre Luis. She had, or number zero V's Pierre Luis. She had seven. The Sooners then took the court in the game that I just got back from, from where they did the uh, autograph signing. Uh, thanks to the OU women, by the way. Here it is. Pow. All of them. Uh, so there's that going on. But before they did this, they had a game to play. In Norman against Oklahoma State, uh, the Sooners actually uh, trailed through the first half of this ball game, but they rallied back as the Sooners put it away in the fourth quarter, 68 to 62 win for Oklahoma. Uh, the stat board for this game that I just got back from in Norman looks like this for Bedlam, a uh, women's Bedlam round one. Uh, Oklahoma State shot 53.8% from inside the arc and 28.6% from three-point line, while the Sooners shot 23.1% from inside the arc and hit 0 for 0 from outside the arc, 0, 0.00. As the Cowgirls lead at intermission, but in the second half, however, Oklahoma State shot 41.7% from inside the arc and 33.3% from three-point line, 
while our beloved Sooners finally shot way better in the second half, shooting 44.1% from inside the arc and from outside the arc, shot 54.5%. For the game in all, in all honesty, Oklahoma State shot 46.2% from inside the arc and 30.8% from outside the arc, while the Oklahoma Sooners shot 35.0% from inside the arc and 33.3% from three-point line. The stat stuffers in this one, well, uh, Maddie Manning was the player to watch in this one. She had a game. Uh, she led the Sooners, at least, in scoring with 20 points and in assists with three dimes. She, however, was not the only player with three dimes. Also did Tiana Edwards and Gabrielle Ortiz. Number 21, Gabrielle Ortiz, and number 2, Tiana Edwards, and the aforementioned number 23, Maddie Manning, all had three dimes in this ballgame. And on the stat board, rebounding, of course, as always, VB, number 0, V's Pierre Louise, she had six boards. All right, guys, that'll do it for the first round of Rivalry Week on the women's side. Things didn't quite go the way, go the way that they wanted in Austin. Losing 60 or 86 to 68, but the Sooners come back and play well in the second half of the game against Oklahoma State and actually win the game 68 to 62. All right, guys, you can find me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor, or tweet me at SoonerFanOK. These videos are also up on my YouTube account, Boomer Sooner 1982. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, Boomer Sooner, everybody. Take care, I'm out of here.